Warships are an integral part of a Navy's surface fleet, providing the capability and versatility to carry out a wide range of missions. These vessels are categorized into seven types. Aircraft carriers, cruisers, destroyers, frigates, corvettes, submarines, and amphibious assault ships. The distinctions between these categories have become less defined over time. Despite this, destroyers remain the primary surface combat vessel in most navies. In this video, let's take a closer look at what we consider to be the top three destroyers currently in service, based on several criteria, such as water displacement, stealth capabilities, sensor integration and radar capability, and most importantly, firepower. Let's dive in. Number 3. Sejong the Great Class Destroyer, Republic of Korea. The Sejong the Great Class Destroyer, OKDX-3, is the largest destroyer class in South Korea's Navy. Currently, there are three ships in this class, with the lead ship commissioned in 2008. In 2019, it was announced that the construction of a second batch is underway, with the first ship expected to be delivered by November 2024. With a water displacement of 11,000 tons on a full load, the Sejong the Great Class Destroyer has a length of 166 meters, a beam of 21.4 meters, and a draft of 6.3 meters. The ship is powered by four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines that can reach speeds of up to 30 knots, with a range of around 5,500 nautical miles. The destroyer can carry up to three helicopters, such as the Super Lynx or SH-60 Seahawk. The Sejong the Great class destroyer is equipped with a missile battery capacity of 128 missiles, including long-range cruise missiles. It also has a 127mm naval gun, a 30mm close-in weapon system, and two 20mm phalanx close-in weapon systems. The weapon systems are controlled by a fully automated weapon control system, which allows for rapid and precise targeting. This makes it one of the most advanced warships in the world in terms of its destructive capabilities. The destroyer also has integrated fire control systems, next-generation electronic warfare capabilities, and a multifunction phased array radar, all of which enhance its operational capabilities. As the largest ship to carry the Aegis combat system, the Sejong the Great class destroyer features ballistic missile defense, the MK-41 vertical launch system, and ANSPY-1 passive radar technology. Number 2. Type 55 Destroyer, China. The Type 55 Destroyer is a class of guided missile destroyers introduced by the Chinese Navy in 2020. It is the largest and most advanced surface combatant in the Chinese Navy, with a versatile design that enables it to undertake various tasks. As of February 2023, there are six Type 55 destroyers in service, with plans to expand the fleet to 16. The Type 55 destroyer has a water displacement of up to 13,000 tons on a full load, a length of 180 meters, a beam of 20 meters, and a draft of 6.6 .6 meters. Its size classifies it as a cruiser in the United States Navy classification system. The ship is powered by four QC-280 gas turbines, which provide speeds of up to 30 knots and a range of around 5,000 nautical miles. The Type 55 destroyer's stealth capabilities are enhanced by a design that minimizes its radar cross-section and a coating that absorbs radar waves. Its advanced sensor suite features the Type 346B radar, which is comparable in functionality to the SPY-1 Aegis system. The radar can detect air targets from significant distances and track multiple targets simultaneously, and it can also detect and track ballistic missiles. The Type 55 destroyer also features the latest Chinese Datalink, which is a secure tactical data system that enables communication with other warships. The Type 55 destroyer is armed with 112 vertical launch system cells that can carry a combination of air defense, anti-ship, and land attack missiles, making it a potent force projection platform. It also has a 130mm naval gun, two 30mm close-in weapon systems, and a Type 055A anti-submarine rocket launcher. Number 1. Zumwalt Class Destroyer, USA. The Zumwalt class destroyer is a class of guided missile destroyers in the United States Navy. It was introduced in 2016, with three ships currently in service. The Zumwalt class is notable for its advanced design, featuring stealth technology that minimizes its radar cross-section and a unique hull form. 
With a water displacement of almost 16,000 tons on a full load, the Zumwalt-class destroyer has a length of 190 meters, a beam of 24 meters, and a draft of 8.4 meters. The ship is powered by an integrated power system, featuring two Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines and two smaller RR-450 gas turbines, which can reach speeds of up to 30 knots, with a range of around 8,000 nautical miles. The Zumwalt-class destroyer is equipped with an array of weapon systems, including ADMK-57 vertical launch system cells that can carry a mix of long-range anti-air, anti-submarine, and land attack missiles. It also has two 155mm advanced gun systems, which can fire a variety of guided and unguided projectiles, as well as a variety of smaller guns and missile launchers. Its weapon systems are controlled by the Total Ship Computing Environment Infrastructure, a fully automated system that allows for rapid and precise targeting. The Zumwalt-class destroyer is equipped with advanced sensors, including a multifunction phased array radar, which provides 360-degree coverage and can detect and track multiple targets simultaneously. It also has an integrated undersea warfare system, which includes a towed sonar array and other sensors to detect and track submarines. It is important to mention that the Zumwalt-class destroyer program faced criticism for its high cost, with each ship estimated to cost over $8 billion and technical issues that led to delays and further cost overruns. The ship's advanced technology, including its stealth capabilities and electrical propulsion system, also faced challenges in development and implementation. The program was reduced from 32 ships to just three, and in 2017, it was announced that the program would be cancelled after the completion of the three ships. The U.S. Navy announced that they will revert to building more Arleigh Burke destroyers. Want to see a dedicated video on the Arleigh Burke destroyer? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content.